In this video, I'm going to show you several different examples of atmospheric perspective so we can better understand how to accurately portray distance and color so we can improve our paintings and landscapes. My favorite part of landscape and environment paintings are the uses of atmospheric perspective to show scale and distance. In atmospheric perspective, the contrast and saturation of color decreases as distance increases, and the brightness increases in value the further the distance the landmass is. To make better landscapes, this must all be understood. It'll help so much to do studies, but do yourself a favor and try to understand what's going on. If you want to better understand atmospheric perspective on a foggy day, then take a look at this front face of the building. The color and contrast is higher, and as the building's distance increases, it goes further back. The contrast in color decreases so much the buildings turn into a solid shape. The building turns into a solid shape with no clear difference in contrast. The foggy day completely hides the contrast and blurs the building into one solid shape. In this atmospheric perspective photo, we see a morning photo that again shows the closer foreground with great contrast, and as the land distance increases, the contrast decreases, but the colors also become cooler with lots of blues and purples. I want to know, does this same thing happen at dusk? In this photo, we see a really nice sunset. What's happening here? During dusk, you'll see you don't get the blues you see during the day. Sunset and dusk brings out all the purples and reds. And again, as the distance increases, the contrast decreases and the cool purples become brighter and warmer during dusk. There are very simple things happening, and that is increases in distance and decreases in contrast in color temperature in every example, depending on weather and time of day. I hope this video helped you out a lot. If you found any value in it, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.